So the other day, I had made a rant video, and that video was talking about the failures of the mod staff and content creators. Uh, not too long after, a uh, fellow content creator and a Deep Woken moderator, YPC Nate, had reacted to it. Now, I do agree with him. I had made that rant after a week of dying to hackers. I got jumped in the depths by three exploiters, so I just, like, one take off the hip made that video. Because of that, it wasn't as put together as I could have liked. So let me give you a clear concise message when players talk about corruption or corrupt mods which they're 100 percent are we're more talking about the general lack of communication between staff and player it appears as though mods don't really follow any rules it seems like they just do whatever the hell they want until someone inevitably comes and puts them in line i say that because many players have had to wait weeks to get their restore ticket opened, just for nothing to happen. Other players are told that their death to hackers are non-restorable, only for them to reopen a ticket and a different mod to grant it immediately. Other players have been false banned for being flung off a boat or whatnot. They never hear back. They're just banned. They have proof, and no mod is willing to help them. These claims don't just get around for the fun of it, right? These players don't talk about their awful experiences because they're just bored. There is a serious issue with how moderation in this game is handled, and no one seems to care enough, at least, to make a statement on it. Now, this next part is a direct statement to Nate. In your video, you say that Rag and Arch, quote, don't care about content creators. Well, they ought to fucking start. We as content creators are the face of the game. We are the first thing people see when they search Dequoken. And as I'm about to show you, some of us do not deserve the platform. Now for context, before going into this next portion, Do Small is a known exploiter. He is a known black marketer. In fact, he is actually the owner of the uh, original Discord for the Dequoken trading. And he is the one that gave the final say and made it into a black market server. Now, just look at this. Look at these. Look at these. So here we have Sendo in the mod room. You know, whatever. Okay? He can obviously be there. He's a mod. Now he's got an enchantment. Now you may say, oh, he just earned that normally, right? He got it with his mod points. Now, I don't know. It seems a little more likely that someone had gave that to him unwillingly. And you can't assume that, right? You just can't assume that. But now, look at this. 100% look at this. Do Small's bank got banned. I have to get my enchants from someone else. Roll back. Remember, Do Small is a known exploiter, a known hacker, a known black marketer. This is Sendo 100% confirming that he not only has talked with a hacker and a black marketer as a moderator, but he is receiving items from them. The best case scenario, the absolute best case scenario, is that Sendos himself, other moderators around him, and other content creators around him knew that there was a hacker and a black marketer dropping items and helping people, and they said nothing. Worst case scenario, Sendo, other moderators, and other content creators are actively working with hackers and black marketers and have yet to be punished. That is outright vile. And here I have a screenshot after my video went live and Sendo realized that the heat was on. He's trying to cover his tracks. He's trying to... Well, I've never, I only played with him a few times. And he doesn't actually hack. That is bullshit. We all know he does. We all know he does. And Sendo has not been punished. All of the mods who knew this was happening have not been punished. All the content creators who knew this was happening have not been punished. 
everyone involved will not be punished. Because that is the precedent that you mods have set in this game. That you can do essentially whatever you want. And if you even do get punished, it will be very minimal. A demotion for a few weeks, maybe. As for Edgar... Hey, no shot, dude. No shot what? Yeah, hey, I actually gave you all that? Yeah. Let me I get... got it from the black market. He's gonna give me a storm shadow... All right, John, I'm going to end the stream here. You can see this clip here. He's working with a black marketer. He knows someone is black marketing. He probably black markets himself. And that's no damn surprise, though, because this guy is playing with key exploits every stream. A known exploiter. Neither of the two have been punished. What, like... You, Nate, you had a... I, I agree with a lot of the things you said in your video. But you are not addressing the problems. You know that there was more that you could have said and you did not. And I'm going to address this next portion of the video specifically to you, Nate. Specifically to address the end of your video saying that I was reaching and I can't just run with these rumors. Well, here's the proof. How do I know that you're not covering your own tracks? How deep does this corruption look? How many staff members knew what was happening and said nothing to save their own skin? How many staff members are actively involved in exploiting and black marketing? How do we know that we can trust any of you? How do we know that this hasn't been happening the whole time and Sendo is just the first person that got caught? This ties into my pain point. At the end of it all, the community has no clue what the staff actually does. We have been left in the dark on most issues, and we've been left in the dark on how your job actually works, so we have to assume the worst. And this single video, the credibility of the staff team, the dev team, and a handful of content creators has been absolutely fucking shattered. <clears throat> And that was 100% due to the lack of communication with the average player, the lack of clear, clear rules and regulations that mods must follow, and an overall neglect of doing the right thing. I look forward to a response from these people. I look forward to what the community thinks. But what am I supposed to say? You wanted your proof. Here's your proof. How am I, how am I supposed to trust any of you? How am I supposed to know that this won't happen again? How am I supposed to know this hasn't been happening the entire time? I've got one final message. One closing remark. It don't work. There's no way out of this one. You're done.